This is the new Motorola Razr. It has a folding screen that turns this from a 6.2 inch smartphone into something half the size. But as you might wonder, how long will that screen last? And what did Motorola do to make sure it could handle being folded so many times? Well, let's find out. Before we jump into the Razer's durability, I need to acknowledge that it was 2019's Samsung Galaxy Fold review units that gave foldables a bit of a bad rap. A number of review units had defects that let dust or other particles get underneath the display and wreak havoc. Any concerns people had about folding displays were instantly amplified. Then, in February of this year, Motorola released the Razer with a foldable screen, and CNET's video team decided to test the display's durability. My colleague Chris Parker used a Foldbot and attempted to open and close the phone 100,000 times. But that's not quite what happened. After 27,000 folds, the Razer wasn't able to be tested further in the Foldbot. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's, not, that's good. not good. So, are foldable screens durable? And if so, how do we know? Well, Motorola invited me to visit one of their testing labs, wearing a mask and social distancing, of course, to see for myself how they tested the screen on the new Motorola Razr. Now this is a small version of the machine used to fold and unfold the Razr. It holds four phones at the same time and fully opens and fully closes each phone. Unlike the Galaxy Z Flip, which is designed to be open to a variety of positions, the Razer is designed to be either open flat or completely closed. And unlike the Foldbot, the machine in Motorola's testing lab uses a wire to open the Razer fully open and an arm to close it all the way shut. Motorola claims that the Razer screen can be open and closed 200,000 times. To give you an idea of how many times that is, you could open and close the phone 100 times a day for five years and still not hit that number. In fact, over the past six months, Motorola reached out to people who owned the Razer that came out in February to learn about how they used it. And it turns out that Razer owners open and close their phones on average 40 times a day. And for Super Razer users, aka the 99th percentile, that average is 100 times a day. Hence the new Razer being able to handle 200,000 folds. Now to recreate hundreds of thousands of folds in less time than five years, the machine fully opens and closes the phones once every four seconds. There's actually something um, calming about hearing phones shutting closed every four seconds. Take a listen. At that rate, it takes Motorola 10 days to fold each phone 200,000 times. So, what allows the Razer to achieve this screen durability? Well, it comes down to three things. The phone's design, the screen, and the hinge. In fact, if you want to learn more about the hinge, take a look at a video I made last year about its design and how it allows the Razer to fold flat. The new Razer largely uses the same design as the February Razer, albeit with a bunch of tweaks. The screen itself is made of five different layers and then sprayed with a hard coating. When the layers are combined, the screen has a thickness of 355 microns. That's 3.5 millimeters. To give you a sense of how thin that is, the Motorola Edge Plus uses a similar OLED panel for its curved edges. The Razer's display stack is a third of the thickness of the one found on the Edge Plus. And remember, it's not just the display that's folding in half. There are a number of connections, including ones for the new 5G antennas that have to traverse the hinge. To help keep things sliding smoothly and quietly, Motorola adjusted the sliding mechanism, which allows the screen to move up and down as it opens and closes, as well as added friction adhesives and tapes to enable everything to slide past one another more easily. With all this design, with all these improvements, with all this research and testing, Motorola is confident about the new Razer's durability. In fact, the company runs over 40 different lab tests to check both the design and the quality of the phone as it is developed and manufactured. That said, the true indicator for how durable the screen is on the Razer or any foldable phone will be time. But in lieu of that, as well as the numerous other refinements and improvements Motorola made to the Razer, I feel much more confident about using it just like a regular phone, albeit one that costs $1,400. 
For more about the Motorola Razr, make sure you check out my review. But you know what? I wanna hear from you. What do you think of how Motorola tests the screen? Do you have questions about its design or testing process? If so, throw them in the comments. Last, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up.